click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about the numerical based on the decay constant problem number 7. So now let us find out that is what is the numerical and what is the data that is we have to calculate. So let's get started. So friend, this is the question that is what we have that is the half-life of phosphorus 32 is found to be that is 14.26 days this d stands for days what percentage of the phosphorus 32 sample will remain after 40 days so here basically what we have is we have a detail regarding the half-life which is found to be 14.26 days so based on that we can easily calculate the dk constant that is lambda and based on the lambda we have to calculate the percentage of the phosphorus that has been left after 40 days that means this 40 days is nothing but the time given that is t which is found to be 40 days so how we can calculate the n o that is n dot and n this is what i'm going to explain you here so first of all let us see what are the data that are being given to us first of all the half life for the phosphorus it is been found to be that is i could write it over here as t half is equals to 14.26 days as well as here time is also been mentioned but the time is mentioned between the two difference that is here basically as we can see that is the percentage of 32 phosphorus or phosphorus 32 sample is been asked after 40 days it would be that is after the decay or after the disintegration what has been left so here basically if the percentage is been asked let us assume that is the initial particle of the nuclei is found to be or initial number of the nuclei is found to be 100. So simply here basically we have to find out what is the value of n or nt we could say in that manner also after a particular time of 40 days. So here is what we have to calculate but we cannot calculate this value unless we have decay constant value so the first thing that we can do is we can find out the decay constant value and for that we have a formula p e half is equals to 0 0.693 divided by lambda that is the decay constant so therefore what i can do is i can make the equation in this manner and this is what we have to do that is we have to substitute the value over here for t half so t half it has been found to be that is 14.26 days so let me substitute the value over here 14.26 days but in that manner we could find that is the unit of the decay constant here in this case it will be found to be day inverse so let us see what is the value we could get if we divide 0 0.693 with 14.26 so here we have got the value as 0 0.046 day inverse so this is the value of the dk constant that is what we have got and based on this we can easily calculate the value of n that is the number of particles of the nuclei that has been left after the disintegration so let us find out that so here we have got the value for the decay constant which is found to be that is 0 0.0486 d inverse that is d inverse so based on this value that is what we have got we can find out the value of n that is the number of the nuclei present after the disintegration with a particular interval of time so based on that let us find out what is the value of n but for that we should know what is the formula and the formula is the formula for the decay constant is lambda is equals to 2.303 that is the decay constant is equals to 2.303 divided by t log to the base 10 of n dot or n0 divided by n 
so here we have to find out the value of n but here we have also the details related to the decay constant as well as the time so here basically we are going to substitute the values over here so for the decay constant we have recently we have got it that is it is found to be 0 0.0486 day inverse is equals to 2.303 divided by the time and the time interval which is found to be that is 40 days which has been given which is 40 days log to the base 10 of n naught divided by n since we have to calculate the value of n we can't calculate it unless it has log with it so what we can do is we can multiply this 0 0.0486 with 40 divided by 2.303 and whatever the value we will get we will take the end log of it and then we can do the further process so let us start with the multiplication here so therefore what we can do is 0 0.0486 multiply by 40 divided by 2.303 which is equals to log to the base 10 n0 divided by n. So let us calculate this value and we can do the further step later on. So after calculation, we could get the value of this as 0 0.844, which is equals to log n0 divided by n. So what we can do is we can take the anti log of this value so that we could get the ratio of n0 divided by n which will be free from log so therefore any log of 0 0.844 which will give us the ratio n0 divided by n so now let's take the anti log and let's see what is the value we could get for the ratio of n0 divided by n after taking the anti log of 0 0.844 we have got the value for the anti log of 0 0.844 as 6.984 and which is equals to that is the ratio of n naught divided by n but we already knew the value of n naught which is that is nothing but the initial number of the nuclei present before the disintegration that is within a particular period of time so in that case which is found to be 100 divided by n but here what we can do is we have to find out the value of n so i could take 6.984 in the denominator and let's see what is the answer we could get so here we have got the value after a division of this as 14.31 but since the percentage was been asked so this is the value that is the percentage which is left after a particular time that is after 40 days and this is the thing and that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this numerical very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much